Have you seen a triumph? The spectacular victory parade of a successful Roman general? Or maybe an imperial triumph, when a man ascends the throne to be the emperor? I've seen them both as a centurion. I've seen the throngs and heard the clamoring as people celebrate and deify a man. It begins in the headquarters of the Praetorian Guard. These elite soldiers take the purple robe off of Jupiter, the king of all Roman gods, and place it on the man they chose to follow. They add a laurel crown and cry, Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! They lead him into the city of Capitoline Hill, so named because when Rome was founded, a human head was found there. Behind him, a great cheering crowd and the bull to be sacrificed. As he ascends the steps, flanked by two officials, he's offered wine. He does not drink. Instead, he pours it out on the ground as a symbol of his willingness to defend the empire with his own blood. The sacrifice is made. Then we await a sign from the gods. When Augustus Caesar took the throne, a comet blazed across the sky in affirmation of both his deity and royalty. It's a time of great celebration, unless, of course, you happen to be the new emperor's enemy. Then it's a time for dread. I witnessed another imperial triumph today, only not in Rome, but in Jerusalem. Pilate was asked to condemn a Jewish carpenter named Jesus to death because he had offended the Jewish leaders. The soldiers led him away to our headquarters and called the whole company together. We dressed him in a purple robe and twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on him. Then in mock salute, Hail, King of the Jews! Before leading him out to Golgotha, the place of the skull. Upon arrival, we offered him wine, but he refused it. He was crucified between two thieves with a great deal of people in attendance. The Jewish leadership, weeping women underneath a sign that read, King of the Jews. Do you see the correlations? Crowns, robes, hills, wine? But that's not all. No comet appeared. Only darkness, as if God himself couldn't bear to watch. Then the earth shuddered and quaked. A second sign. Powerful signs to accompany a crucifixion coronation. But maybe it's the difference that means the most. Instead of a bull being sacrificed, Jesus sacrificed himself. Instead of calling 12 legions of angels to obliterate his enemies, this king asked his father to forgive them. Instead of an earthly kingdom, he presides over one not of this world that has no end. Your throne, God, is forever and ever, and the scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You have rescued us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the son you love. May you reign in my heart and life forever and ever and ever. Amen.